Hi, welcome to part five and the final episode in our little series about common problems with porous uh, surfaces. Uh, and this is probably the most common one. Um, we're talking about it last because it's actually the most fixable one as well, even though it's the one people think of first if you say what's going to happen to this porous material. Staining. Staining is uh, what pops into most people's mind and what worries most people when they buy a porous material. For instance, if you say decide to buy some natural stone or some terracotta for your floor, or you decide to buy a granite countertop instead of something man-made and non-porous, you know, people worry about staining. The truth about staining is, yes, it does happen to porous materials because the pores in porous materials will suck in any liquid that sits on it, but most stains, the majority of stains, are possible to remove. So the first thing I would say about stains is, don't panic. You can definitely remove it. Well, I'd be, I'd say in 98 or 99% of cases, I don't know if that's a scientific number, but in most cases you should be able to remove it. You just need a little bit of advice sometimes, so that's no problem. Uh, now, uh, can you prevent staining? Uh, yes and no. So the most common way to protect a porous material like this these days is using something called a penetrating or an impregnating sealer. So this is a sealer that's invisible because it doesn't sit on the surface and make a coating. It goes into the pores and it works by repelling water-based and oil-based liquids so that they just sit on the surface and don't get sucked into the pores and make a stain. Right. Now, uh, yes, if a surface is well treated with a good quality penetrating or impregnating sealer, that will make it stain repellent. But you need to know that if you leave a liquid sitting on there long enough, it will eventually go in. And there's a very good reason for this. All of these penetrating or impregnating sealers are what we call breathable. Now let's just show you an example of that. If I blow into this little grout cup, uh, you'll see what happens. So what's happening here is the pores are not blocked. Uh, the sealer has gone into the pores and is now repelling liquids, but you can see air can still freely flow. So those uh, flow through it. So those pores are actually still wide open, which means that there's just this little repellent force keeping the liquid out, which means that if you leave the liquid on there long enough, it will start to make its way in. Oil will definitely go in quicker than water will. But the moral of the story is, if you, and you don't have to be vigilant and wipe up every spill as soon as it occurs and dive in there with your cloth and get it out. But if you get to it within a reasonable amount of time, you should never have a problem. Um, now, why, why a dry treat impregnating sealer? Because there are many, many impregnating sealers in the market. Um, and they all repel, well, the good ones repel pretty well. The difference is our products are actually permanent. It's unique to us. Um, there are two reasons for this. One is we've got a much tinier sealing molecule that goes penetrates right into the pores of the material and actually lines the pores. And then the second reason is once it's in there, it actually makes a chemical reaction happen and becomes part of the structure of the stone or the material. So it's there for life. Once you do it, you don't have to redo it. So uh, does it repel better than other impregnating sealers? Well, usually that depends more about how you, well you do the sealing um, because they use the same sort of technology to do the repelling. But uh, once you start washing and wearing that surface after a few weeks, uh, you will find that other impregnating sealers start to degrade and maybe, depending on how often that surface is used and how much it's washed and what you clean it with, uh, you'll find that it needs to be reapplied after a year or two. And with a dry treat sealer, it should never need to be reapplied because it's deep inside the pores and actually bonded inside the molecular structure of the material. So it's there for life.